Okay, right, welcome back. So, uh, in this video we're going to talk about how to add images to posts. Now I must stress, I've just changed um, this post somewhat. Um, rather than just the dummy text, I've actually put an article in there now. Uh, this is just, a, just an article about healthy cooking. So this is just something that I had on my computer. Okay, so it's, you know, carrying on from where we left off, we're just going to add an image now to the post. Now, images are very simple to add in WordPress. Um, you'll be pleased to know. Uh, it's just a matter of putting the cursor where you'd like the image. So, for example, we could put one, maybe three paragraphs down, we could put one in there. So you get the image where you want, and then you just go to Add Media. Now the images can be taken from your computer, so if you go to Add Media, it then says Drop Files Anywhere to Upload or Select. Now, if you click Select, it will open up your um, File Manager, and then you just pick the file you want, and then drop it in. Or if you already know where it is, if you have it open on another screen or on another page you can just drag the file in so i'll do it i'll do an example of both so the first one if we want to drag it in you just drag the file in and it'll and it'll put it in now i must stress a couple of important things here you turn your attention over to this side of the screen so you every image you upload you really should give it a title and also give it an alternate text. Um, this is good for SEO purposes. So you should really get into the habit of just doing this with everything you add up, uh, with every image you add. So for this one, I'm just gonna put healthy salad, okay? And then for the alt text, that could be exactly the same actually. healthy salad dish maybe. Okay, and then the alignment you want down here, which is where you want it to appear. You want it on the left side, the centre or the right. I want this one in the centre. A link, if you wanted this to link to something, we're not going to do that at the moment. And then the size, you can change this still. But, um, just for now, set it to a size you're happy with. You can change this. I'll show you how to change it on the net in a minute. So just get it to a size you want and then put insert into post. Okay, so then that now is in the post. So then if we want to do another one, I'll show you again. We'll put another one under here maybe. So we do add media. This is your media library. If you want to go to upload files, then this time rather than drag it in, we'll do the select. So you just select pulls open the folder where we are, you have to locate, I put them here and then we'll just open and then it will put it in, okay, and exactly the same, give it a title and put the alternate text in. Centre, no link at the moment, and then the size, and then insert the post. And that is as simple as it is really. Okay, and then once you're happy with that, and you put your images in, you can click update. Okay, that's great. And then now we'll have a look at the post and see what it's Starting to see how it's starting to look, should be starting to take shape. Okay, that's always just a preview on the home site, but then if you click on the actual article, you'll see now it's starting to come along nicely. We've got some images in there, and we've got a nice post put in together. Okay, right, I'll see you on the next video where we're going to talk about adding links and how to uh, change categories and some other bits and pieces. Thank you very much. Hi, this is John again. Um, I've just come back on actually. 
because I wanted to just show one more thing on the images uh, video before we go, okay? Before I change, uh, go to the next video. So I'm going to go back in. We're going to edit the post. You can edit it from up here, or you can go back in via the dashboard. Quick link is just click edit up there. Now, one thing I want to show you with images. Now, remember what I said these are just inserted in at the large size, which is just a sort of default size that WordPress will put it in at. If you want if you have two images that are different sizes, for example, and you want them on a, if you, and you want them to be the same size, then you can quickly change them. If you click on the image and then click on the edit, it's like a little pen up there, this will then bring up the image details. Now in here, in the size, you've again got the default options or you go to custom size and if you wanted to you could make them all the same size so say for example you wanted them slightly bigger at 650 it will then automatically if you change the width it will change the height respectively so make that one 650 click update that one's done and then you want the bottom one if you want that one the same size you can just go back in custom and you can make that 650 as well I like to try and get all my images the same size on the page, um, just so that it looks nicer. And that's it really, and then once you've done that, just click update again. And the images will be, now would have changed size. You can click view post, and they'll be slightly bigger now, but again they'll both be the same size. Okay. Right, that is the end of this video now. Thank you very much.